Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about day supply calculations. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So first we'll just have an overview of day supply. Um, day supply is basically just how many days the quantity of a prescri prescribed medication will last. Like for example, seven days, 30 days, etc. And this video will cover day supply calculations for solid dosage forms. This includes tablets and capsules, oral liquids such as suspensions and solutions, inhalers and nasal sprays, eye and ear drops, and injectables. We'll be focusing on insulin. So first we'll look at some basic information about the day supply calculations. Day supply for a prescription may be given or it may need to be calculated. If the day supply is given, the amount of medication to dispense must be calculated. This is done by taking the amount of medication used in one day and multiplying it by the number of days to use the medication. So for example, if the prescription is for taking two tablets per day and it's for 30 days, that would be two times 30, which would be to dispense 60 tablets. If the day supply needs to be calculated, you take the total amount of the medication dispensed and divide that by the amount of medication used in one day. And in order to, for this to work, you, these have to be in the same units. And this is where the conversion calculations may be needed. So for example, um, if you have 60 tablets, it's gonna be the total amount of medication dispensed and the amount of medication used in one day was two tablets, you would just divide 60 by two and that would give you 30 days. So let's look uh, more closely at the different types of um, prescriptions for the day supply. Um, first, we'll start with the solid dosage forms. Um, this includes tablets, capsules, suppositories, or anything that's in a unit dose. And I thought the best way to do this is to actually give prescription examples um, with a question. So this first one is for metformin, 500 milligram tablets, one BID, that's one twice a day, dispense a one month supply, refill times three. So how many tablets should be dispensed for this prescription? So we'll take our number of tablets used in one day, multiply it by the number of days, and that will give us the answer. So one BID, that would, that's twice a day, so that would be a total of two tablets in a day, and times one month, um, one month, a good number to use for that is just 30 days because that's a good round number. So two times 30 will be 60 tablets. We'll look at another example of solid, solid dosage form day supply. Um, this one is amoxicillin 500 milligram capsules, um, one TID UAT means one three times a day until all are taken. Um, number 21 to be dispensed and no refills. So here we have the quantity and we're gonna need to calculate the day supply. So what is the day supply for this prescription? So we're gonna take the total amount of medication dispensed divided by the amount of medication used in one day. And that'll give us the answer. So the total is 21 capsules to dispense and one TID uh, that's one three times a day, so that would be a total of three capsules in a day. So 21 divided by three gives us seven, so it's a seven day supply. Now we'll look at the oral liquids day supply. Um, oral liquids, this includes suspensions, solutions, and syrups. And this may involve the volume conversion calculations, so I thought this would be a good place to review those. Um, the common volume conversion equivalents um, include one teaspoon equals five milliliters, one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters, which equals three teaspoons. One milliliter equals 20 drops, which equals one cc. One ounce equals 30 milliliters, and one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So our first prescription we have here is for amoxicillin 250 milligram per five ml suspension. And the directions are one teaspoon BID times 10D. That's one teaspoonful twice a day for 10 days. Um, dispense quantity sufficient, QS, and with no refills. So how much amoxicillin suspension should be dispensed for this prescription? Um, from our conversion equivalents, we know that one teaspoon equals five milliliters. So this is for five milliliters, one teaspoon, BID, which is twice a day. So that would give us a total of 10 milliliters per day. 
So now we're going to take the amount used in one day and multiply it by the number of days. So that's 10 milliliters times 10, those 10 days, gives us a total of 100 milliliters is what, how much we need to dispense. Okay, we'll look at one more example now for the oral liquids day supply. So we have Robitussin AC cough syrup, one teaspoon POQ4-6H PRN cough. That's one teaspoonful by mouth every four to six hours as needed for cough. I dispense four ounces with no refills. So what is the day's supply for this prescription? Okay, from our conversion equivalents, we know that one teaspoon equals five milliliters. So that's gonna be five milliliters six times a day. We get the six times a day because the maximum that could be taken would be, it could be taken every four hours. So there are 24 hours in a day, so we would divide 24 by four, which gives us six times a day. So five milliliters times six times a day, five times six gives us 30 milliliters that could be taken in one day. And now we need to convert our amount dispensed also to milliliters, because remember this has to be, they have to be in the same units. So we have 30 milliliters in one ounce, and we're doing four ounces here. So it'd be 30 milliliters over one ounce times four ounces over one, and our ounces cancel, if you remember from our conversion calculations. And so we have 30 times four gives us 120 milliliters. So now we'll just take our total amount of medication dispensed and divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. So 120 divided by 30 gives us a four day supply. Now we'll look at the inhalers and nasal sprays day supply. So inhalers and nasal sprays have a spe specified number of metered doses per container. The number of doses per inhaler or bottle of nasal spray is, is product specific and can be found by reading the label on the product. Um, the number of doses may be on the product label as metered inhalations, this is usually for inhalers, or metered sprays, this will be for the nasal sprays, or it may just say metered doses. Uh, we'll look at our first example here, um, albuterol inhaler, 90 micrograms. One to two puffs Q6H PRN wheezing, dispense one inhaler, refill times three. Um, so that's, uh, we know from our albuterol package that it comes, uh, the one inhaler has 200 meter doses. So if we calculate the maximum amount of medication for one day, um, the max would be two puffs and it'd be um, four times a day, Q6 hours, you have 24 hours in a day, divided by six hours will give us four times a day it could be used. So two times four would give us eight, a maximum of eight doses per day. And we know from our package that it's 200 meter doses. So now we'll just do our calculation of the total amount of medication dispensed divided by the amount of medication used in one day. Um, so we have 200 divided by eight, and that gives us a 25 day supply. One more example now with a nasal spray. Um, we have Flonase nasal spray, two sprays QD into each nostril. Dispense one bottle, refill times two. So QD is once a day, um, so two sprays once a day. And we know from our Flonase bottle, um, it has 120 metered sprays in it. So the amount of medication in one day, um, two sprays into each nostril. So you have two nostrils, so it'd be two times two that will be four, and it's just once a day. So it's a total of four sprays a day. Um, so now we're gonna take the total amount of medication dispensed, divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. So one bottle, we know from the package, it has 120 sprays. We divide that by four sprays a day, and that gives us a total of 30 day supply. Okay, now we'll look at the eye and eardrops day supply. Um, day supply calculations for eye and eardrops, they typically require a conversion calculation first. And it's just the one ml or milliliter equals 20 drops. Remember drops can be, be abbreviated GTTS. So eye and eardrops come in different size bottles. Um, for example, we can have a 2.5 milliliter, 5 milliliter, or 10 milliliter bottle. It's the same product, but they just come in different sizes. And sometimes a calculation is required to determine the correct bottle size to dispense to the patient with eye and eardrops. So we'll look at that, an example of that as well. 
So our first um, eye and eardrop example, we have a prescription for Zalatan, 0.005% ophthalmic solution. And the directions are one GTT OU QPM. That's one drop into each eye every evening. Dispense 2.5 milliliters with no refills. So the question here is what is the day supply for this prescription? So the directions are one drop into each eye every evening. So that's just um, one drop and you have two eyes. So that will be two drops and once a day. So it'd be two times one. That gives us a total of two drops per day. And we know from our conversion equivalent that one milliliter equals 20 drops. So we simply take 2.5 milliliters and multiply it by 20 to find out how many drops are in the 2.5 milliliter package. That gives us a total of 50 drops. So now we're going to take our total amount of medication dispensed, divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. So 50 drops is how much is to be dispensed, divided by two drops. 50 divided by two gives us a 25 day supply. And one more example in the eye near drops. And we have prednisolone 1% ophthalmic suspension, two GTTS OS TID times 7D. So that's two drops into the left eye, three times a day times seven days. Dispense one bottle with no refills. So what size bottle should be dispensed for this prescription? And 2.5, 5, or 10 ml sizes are available. So those are our choices. So this is for two drops three times a day, just into one eye. So it would be two times three. That gives us a total of six drops per day. And then we're going to do that for seven days. So six drops a day times seven days, six times seven is 42 drops total. Now we know from our conversion equivalents that 20 drops equals one milliliter. So what we need to find out now is how many milliliters does 42 drops equal. So we simply set up our conversion calculation, um, one ml per 20 drops times 42 drops over one. Our drops cancel out, we're left with milliliters. And so we have 42 divided by 20, that gives us 2.1 milliliters. So the size that would be closest to that would be the 2.5 milliliter bottle. Now we'll look at the injectables day supply. Um, we're really going to focus on insulin here because that's the most common um, day supply calculation for injectables. Um, the doses for insulin are specified in number of units to inject. And something to know about injectables is they may have a short expiration date after opening. And this must be taken into consideration when determining the day supply for these products. And insulins expire 28 days after opening. That's something you, you'll want to know. Um, the number of units per milliliter in a valve insulin also depends on the specific insulin product. A little more details about that. Um, U100 insulin is the most common concentration, but there are others. And with U100 insulin, that equals 100 units per milliliter. And I've listed here some common U100 insulin products, um, Novolog or insulin aspart, Humalog, which is insulin Lispro, Lantus or Basaglar, which is insulin Glargine, Levamir, which is insulin Detamir, and Traceba, which is, which is insulin Degladec. So the, the common insulins that are in the top 200 drugs are actually uh, U100 insulins, but I have a note here that the Traceba and the Humalog are also available in U200. So it's just something to, to watch for. But the concentration, which is the units per ml of insulin, is on the package. If there are ever any questions, you can just look at the package and see what the um, units per ml is on that. And something that's helpful to know, um, a 10 milliliter vial of U100 insulin equals 1,000 units. So that's something you'll want to memorize. So we'll look at a couple examples here. Um, Lantus, 100 units per milliliter. Um, 5U SQQHS. That's five units subcutaneously, which is under the skin, every night at bedtime. Dispense a 10 milliliter vial, refill times three. So what is the day's supply for this prescription? So the amount for one day is five units, um, because it's just five units once at bedtime. 
and then a 10 ml uh, vial of U100 insulin, that's what we're dispensing here, equals 1,000 units. That's that little helpful thing I said to memorize. Um, so we'll take the total amount of medication dispensed, divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. So we have 1,000 units divided by five units, so that equals a 200 day supply. But insulin expires 28 days after opening, so the day supply for this prescription would be 28 days. One more example here for insulin. Um, we have Humalog Quick Pen U100 20U SQTIDAC. That's 20 units subcutaneously under the skin three times a day before meals. Um, dispense five three milliliter pens and refill times two. So what is the day supply for this prescription? Um, 20 units three times a day um, would be a total of 60 units for one day, 20 times three. And then to find out how much is in the, the five pens, we have th five three milliliter pens, so that would be a total of 15 milliliters. So we know this is U100 insulin, so that means 100 units per one ml. And we'll multiply that by 15 milliliters. Our milliliters cancel out, we're left with our units on the top. So that equals um, 100 times 15 equals 1500 units will be dispensed. So now we're gonna take our total amount of medication dispensed and divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. So we have 1500 divided by 60 and that gives us a 25 day supply. And we know insulin is good for 28 days, so that day supply, we can leave it as is. So now we'll just look at a little summary of our um, day supply calculations. Um, day supply is how many days the quantity of prescribed medication will last. Um, if day supply is given, the amount of medication to dispense has to be calculated. And this is done by taking the amount of medication used in one day and multiplying it, by the, multiplying it by the number of days to use the medication. And if day supply needs to be calculated, we take the total amount of medication dispensed and divide it by the amount of medication used in one day. And remember, these must be in the same units for this to work. And um, conversion calculations may be needed to obtain the same units before the day supply can be calculated. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.